Let's do some cooking with Randy Feltis, everyone. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Let's get the food going. Let's make this thing happen. We've got the TV. We've got the drinks. I gotta we say, I want to go to Leanne's house for a party. I know, right? That sounds like a lot of fun. Stick on the hockey team wow. and have a good time. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. But every party needs a little bit of food. A lot of food. A I lot would of food. Say. Okay. And you don't want to, like, don't get me wrong, I love Tostitos and salsa. I love oh, salt yeah. and vinegar chips. Chili's okay, uh -huh. but we want to take it to the next level. This is puck drop. Yes, as you always do. You always take the, the, the recipe that we've all heard of, you know, a million times before, and you take it to the Randy Feltis level. Please tell me, what are we making today? We are making a lobster corn dog. A lobster corn dog. Whoa! That is a good so, combo. Well, you know what? We got a little bit of carny going on, a little bit of hockey <laughs> going on. It's all festive and it's all cool and, and awesome, right? Okay, how do you make these? A little bit of deep these? fire. So here we go. We're gonna start with one cup of yellow cornmeal, pretty yeah. standard. Okay. All the dry ingredients go into a bowl. One cup of flour. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit of sugar calls for a quarter cup. You can lighten that up. It really doesn't need the sweetness, but you know it has a bit of that it though. Has when you a have a corn bit, dog, it has you get a the saltiness bit of sweet. from the lobster, right? Yeah. Four tablespoons or teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. A little bit of salt and pepper. All right. Do you want the egg? I want the egg first. Okay. You got this one? Yeah, I got it. So I, all the I dry ingredients. Give it a whisk like that. There was Smashed no shells that went in there, right, Tracy? None at all. Got it, girl. Good stuff. None at all. And then a little bit of milk. So one okay. cup of milk. You so want basically, the whole thing? yeah, nice and slow. It goes too fast, you get a little bit of lumps. I'm just gonna whisk that up. Here we go. Until we get this smooth batter. Really quite simple stuff you should have lying around. This is pretty easy. It there. is really pretty easy, isn't it? Now the only trick and secret is. If you go straight in with this right now, it probably won't puff up as much. You want that baking powder kind of relaxed in there a little bit. Okay. So we'll let that chill out just for a second. All right. Skewer. Thank you. Every corn dog needs a skewer. What we have here is very small, <gasps> small lobsters. That looks so good. They've been cleaned up. I called my, my fishmonger, Johnny Fish. I said, get me some small lobsters, yes. clean them up. So you don't have to do that kind of thing. Just what, go to your fishmonger, just everybody. Just go to your fishmonger. <laughs> I mean, you can cook them off. You can do your thing too. But what he also said, he's like, I've got some really oh, large shrimp. Oh, my goodness. Shrimp. That's a great and idea. And I couldn't resist. I was like, you know what? We can try that. Yes. So we might do shrimp. So why don't you skewer up a lobster tail and I'll okay. skewer this big guy up? I will. All right. This is a good party. This looks like fun already, isn't it? I like it? it. I like this party. Okay. So then... Mine isn't exactly straight. Is that okay? <laughs> it's a bit of a C. It happens to all of us, Tracy. It's yeah, all right. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that happens sometimes. So what we have to do, we want the, the batter to stick, is dredge it in a little cornmeal. So you just kind okay. of fluff it around. And you know, it's game day, so you're okay to get a little messy. Absolutely. All right. Nothing has to be neat and tidy here. Absolutely have some not. fun. Well, we normally have a cleanup crew in the kitchen after, right? We're doing the cooking. You guys Somebody are a little spoiled up. is what's yeah, going on like in the kitchen. Yeah, something like that goes on. So here's the battery made in advance, so it's got a, a little bit of resting to it. All and right. this is your perfect consistency. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. So, Trace, I'm just going to dip this in. We've got a spoon in here just to help us out. Nice. And you kind of need to spoon it because it is a thicker batter. It's not like yeah. a fish and chip. It's going to have a little bit more jam to it. Okay, okay, that's looking like a corn dog. You get yours in there now. That's looking amazing. Now I'm just going to spin and roll. Yeah. I'm going to wait for you. Like a big shrimp we're gonna do this lollipop. Together. All right. See, she's coating. Mine is totally it's coming off perfect. the stick. All Whatever, right. Whatever, that's fine. We'll make now. it work. <laughs> Perfect. Right? It looks perfect. So you're good. good. You're good. You're gold. Now, going into the oil, yeah. it's like you never dive into the pool. Mm -hmm. You dive into the pool, they're splashing, and it, you know we got to protect it. these faces, Tracy. Yeah, I know. Right? I yes. didn't bring any goggles, so, so just slow. feet go into the pool, yeah. and you kind of spin it. Ooh, mine get... has like a jowl on it. Yeah, this no, got... it's good. Okay. It's good. Nobody That's said fine. it had to be perfect. Who cares? And then just kind of spin it's it around a little good. bit, and then eventually, it's just going to float. Oh, good stuff, right? Randy. So we're at and then we're deep frying it. So obviously yes. that doesn't take very long to uh... about six minutes, five okay. or six minutes, right? All right? Now, the beauty is 350. If you're going to be deep frying at home in a pot like this, just make sure you've got a lid. Okay. Apparently the the, the fire out. department. Well, not the splashing. I'm afraid of. If you don't have a thermometer, and it gets too hot. Stop. The fire department gets a lot of phone calls in the a.m. mornings of Saturday and Sunday. Right. People coming home and they want to make their own poutine or their own <laughs> lobster corn dogs, <laughs> and they fall asleep and go powie. So like, it's not a good if idea. the flames happen at home, put a lid. Right. Okay, that's all you need to do. Just take rid get rid of the auction, or Very buy yourself tip. a deep fryer and do it that way. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that, a lot of people do have deep fryers. So this is coming along nicely. Oh my nicely. gosh, yours is huge. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Look at that. Okay, so now quickly we gotta do our sauce. 
Okay, let's and do the sauce. And we got to go to the plate. You ready? I'm just afraid to leave this here. It's oh, going to fall go. in. No, it's okay. See, it's it's okay? Yep. Okay. All right. Grab All right, yourself let's... a spatula. We can't just do a regular sauce with this. This is a lobster corn dog. We got to go over and above. Right. So what we're going to do is a sauce remoulade, which is a French version, basically of a tartare. You got so fancy we got there. Mustard. All right. We've got horseradish. Give me a stir. Oh man, that looks good. All right. Then you ready for this? Real quick, anchovy, caper, gherkin, all the best things in the entire world with a little bit of pickle. This will slap you across the face with That's flavor. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> what the anchovy flavor in slap. there. Anchovy, Ooh, yeah. caper, gherkins, chop that up. Okay. Chuck it in. Do we want Hello. it to be a little bit chunky? Yeah, a little chunky's nice. Yeah, you know, I don't mind that. The corn dog's gonna be a little smooth. And then a little bit of dill and mm -hmm. chive. Hello, how you doing? Don't be afraid of the salt. Okay. The pepper. I know what you're thinking to yourself. You need lemon. You'd be right. Yeah, we do. But right? it's right there, right? It's right there. So then, when we get there, this is what you got to do, Shane. Yeah. You want to punch yourself in the face with a little flavor? A little bit. You ready? Oh, that's good. What? Think about all the things you can dip that in. That's really good for any fish. I just carry this around my pocket. Oh my god, I yeah. Just dip things in there. Yes. Okay, so we go to the plate. <laughs> 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 do your takeout containers at home. Get yourself a That's lemon so cool. in a cheesecloth. Tie it up. You got your remoulade sauce on the side. If you do it in a takeout container and you get the little checkers, it kind of looks like you're at the arena. Yeah. It matches your beer and stuff. But then at the end of the party, bink into the garbage. No dishes. Into the recycling bin. Recycling no bin, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy. Yep. Okay, just before we cut out, Are we ladies and gentlemen, did? you already see it? Tracy's corn dog, everybody. Oh! That was good for you. Nice. nice. We'll dip it it's, right a, in there. it's a C for the Canadians. Oh! oh I'm in trouble! Look at the Rebecca's level. <laughs>